Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd. The minhaj of the methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah is imperative for us to follow. And it is a methodology based upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the pious predecessors. The understanding of the first generations of this Ummah as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the best of you is those of my generation. Then those who follow them and then those who follow them. Letting us know the first three generations, Rahimahullah Ta'ala Jami'an, they make up the Salaf of this Ummah. They make up, when we say we follow the Madhab of the Salaf, when we refer to ourselves as Salafi, that we're referring to striving, making conscious effort to take our aqidah and our da'wah, our methodology for making da'wah and how we propagate in Islam and how we understand Islam from the Sahaba and the Tabi'een with Taba'a Tabi'een. That that is our madhab, that is our minhaj. No matter what we see going on in the world, new think, new issues, new crisis, new things, but we're referring back to that for our guidance because we realize that that is the source of guidance and light which is going to make us successful in this life as well as the hereafter. And I just wanted to read some ahadith that verify for us all of these are just narrations of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam without even getting into the Athar of the Salaf, which are Kethra, many, 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 which affirm for us that the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is where our success lies. And that that is our Medheb, that is our Minhaj. That there's no new way that's going to rectify our situation except by returning to what Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was calling us to and inviting us to and commanding us to follow alayhi salatu wa salam. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa wa rasul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the heavens and earth, the Lord of all things, the creator of the heavens and earth, Rabbil Alameen, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, wa huwa ala kulli shayin alim, he knows everything, he's omnipotent, he subhanahu wa ta'ala also ordered us to, to obey him and obey the messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. So I wanted to read some fawaid, Shaykhana, Shaykh Saeed, Al-Halayl, bin Halayl, Al-Umar, Hafizullah ta'ala, Shaykhana, that he compiled in his very beneficial book entitled Nasiha, an nasiha and it's something that we hope to get it translated in the future so that the English-speaking audience can benefit from this great treatise that the Shaykh put together, Hafizullah Ta'ala. The narrations that he compiled, he entitled this chapter, this short section, this short chapter called Fasl fi tahdhir al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min al-bida' wa ahliha. <coughs> this, he entitled this chapter, or this section of his treatise, and it's entitled the warning of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi was of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warning against innovation. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned against bid'ah. It wasn't us who started it. It was the Nabi Alayhi Salatu Salam and we follow his sunnah. And warning against Ahla Bid'ah. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. Alayhi Salatu Salam. He told us about them, he foresaw that they were coming, that the Ummah would break, and he gave us a prescription. So these are some of the narrations Shaykhana compiled. An Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man ahdita fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fu rad. Mutafakun alayhi. In hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha said, whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected. Wa fi ruayatin li Muslim, قَالَ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَسَلَامُ مَنْ عَمَلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فُوَرَدْ So in the narration that was collected in Muslim, you'll find it in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever does an action 
which is not in accordance with our affair, then he will have it rejected. So bid'ah is rejected. وَفِي صَحِيحَيْنْ عَيْدًا قَالَ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever desires other than my sunnah, then he is not from, from me. وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ هُوَ يُخْتُو بِيَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ أَمَّا بَعْدْ فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ حَدِيثِ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرَ هَدِي هَدِي مُحَمَدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل مح وكل بدعة ضلالة رواه مسلم إن صحيح مسلم the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام when he was uh, giving he was uh, preaching on the day uh, for the Juma prayer he عليه الصلاة والسلام said as for what comes next verily the best speech is the book of Allah and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the worst affair is that which is innovated. And every innovated is misguidance. And this is collected in Muslim. وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ وَمَنْ دَعَى إِلَى الضَّلَالَةِ كَانَ عَلَيْهِ مِنَ الْإِثْمِ مِثْلَ آذَمْ مِنْ تَبَعْهُ لَا يَنْكُسْ ذَلِكَ مِنْ, آف من آذَمِهِ شَيْئًا رواه مسلم In Sahih Muslim as well, the Prophet والسلام, said, Whoever calls or invites to misguidance, then he will receive a sin and the sin of those people who follow him. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And none of that sin will be taken away, will be uh, taken from those people who, the, who uh, you know, it will only add to the person their their sin. That means that you misguided people, due to their misguidance, they will get sin for following you. And you, for starting a bid'ah, you will get from their uh, sin. You will collect from starting a, a bid'ah sayyah. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَنَنَسْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلَا عَنْهُ قَالْ قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله حجب توبة عن كل صاحب البدع صاحب البدع حتى يدعى بدعته رواه تبراني وأندر السلسلة صحيحة إمام تبر تبراني رحمه الله تعالى in his collection he narrated the hadith of Anas رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, <coughs> Verily Allah covers the tope, the repentance of every person of innovation until he leaves his bid'ah. That is, that's a, a stern warning to stay away from religious innovation. Avoid bid'ah at all costs. Stick with what is in the Quran, what is in the Sunnah, and leave doubtful issues. وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ إِنِّي قَدْ تَرَكْتُ فِيكُمْ شَيْئَيْنِ لَنْ تُذِلْ بَعْدِهِمَا كِتَابِ اللَّهُ وَسُنَّتِي رُوَهُ حَاكَمْ وَأَصْلُهُ فِي مُسْلَمْ In a hadith that was narrated, uh, collected by Imam, uh, in, in Hakam. And the asl, the origin of this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily I have left you with two things. That you will, you cannot be misguided after them. I mean, if you hold on to these two things, you will not be misguided. The Book of Allah and my Sunnah. وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ تَرَكْتُمْ عَلَى مِثْلَ بَيْضَى لَيْلَهَا كَالنَّهَارِهَا لَا يُزِيغُ عَنْهَا إِلَّا هَالَكَ 
Ru'ahu ibn Abi Asim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I've left you with on mithla on, on clarity. You know, it's beida, it's it's clear, it's it's white and clear. The night is like its day. And no one will be misguided except that they will be destroyed. No one will be misguided from it, go against it, except that it will be destroyed. The Prophet Sallallahu what did he leave us with? He left us with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is talking about in this hadith. وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَسَلَامُ لَا يُؤْمِنُوا أَحَدَكُمْ حَتَّى يُكُونْ هَوَاهُ تَبْعًا لِمَا جَتُّ بِهِ أَخْرَجُوا بَيْهَقِي فِي مَدْخَلْ وَصَحَّهُ الْحَافِظِ فِي الْفَتْحِ In a hadith that was uh, collected in Bayhaqi or by Bayhaqi the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said not one of you does not believe until his desires are in accordance with what I came with all of those narrations illustrate for us the importance of avoiding religious innovation and that we're ordered to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if we want success. And that we're ordered to understand the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by following the salaf of this ummah, not by our desires, not by explaining hadith away in such and such manner, in such and such manner, but going back to the people, ahla hadith, to understand about those things. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless our Shaykh, Shaykh Saeed, have the Allah Ta'ala with, with uh, forgiveness and istiqama with ikhlas, with the battle of sunnah and jannah, jannah to firdos. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with guidance and forgive us of our sins and bless us with jannah to firdos when we pass from this earth. And may Allah protect us from kulli su wa makru and bless us to be a source of guidance and not misguidance and bid'ah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.